Hey guys, Rudrick here, and welcome back to Rudrick Plays Firewatch. Last time we discovered Brian Goodwin, or yeah, Brian Goodwin's little nest over there. We found some uh, anchors. Looks like we uh, may need those though, because otherwise we're not getting out of here. Now, if I could only remember where I showed up to here. All right, so we got to go back to the cave because that's the only way we're gonna get out of here, unfortunately. And my memory is killing me right now because I cannot remember how I got out of here. Let's see here, or how I got over here, that is. Let's see where to go back to cave. Was it over here? No, not over there. Uh, okay. Aha, right here. Or not. Let's see here. Also, I loved Henry's uh, joke about it being grade A dork contraband. Ah, here we go. Oh, come on, Rudrake. Derp Drake, go away. We do not need you right now. We need actual Rudrake. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm, my pathfinding does not suck this bad normally. I just don't remember how or where I came from here. Let's see. Maybe we gotta go this way. No, because I've been over here. Come on. Uh, I remember a path leading out. I remember the pole. I remember... Oh, hey, hey, hey. You know, I might have just walked around. Oh my gosh, I'm leaving that in just so you guys have something to laugh at me for. Or not, never mind, no, that's not where I needed to go either. I was about to say, I'm gonna feel really stupid now. I mean, I do anyway, just cause, jeez, my freaking gosh, that was dumb. Okay, give me a minute to figure out, figure this out. Oh, this is what I need to do. Because this way, we'll be able to rappel down. Because basically what those things were is they were antler, uh, anchors. They're called pythons, but, you know. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, yeah, seriously. Uh, God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Yeah, it'd be a nice uh, consolation prize not going to jail. Especially if I could find where the crap I need to get out of here now. Because I am the worst at trying to find... Let's see here. We need to go straight here, and then we gotta go west, something like that. Or south. Let's see. Okay, we just climbed down from there, so we're gonna have to... Okay, what the crap? That means I've got to find something to drive this another python into. Probably. Yeah, there's probably a cracked rock or something around here I can use. No, there's a long drop down that I just conveniently didn't see. Ugh, holy crap. Derp Drake. Stop it. Okay. Gonna go across thoroughfare. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They oh. took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Well. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Yeah, we do. Okay, sorry for double-checking my map so much. I just really do not want to get lost right now. 
Okay, so we gotta go back to two forks. It should be if I'm going the right way. Yeah, we're good. Going through here, hopping over. All right. Back in here we go. And what was the objective again? Um, I think, oh wait, no, 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 I gotta go back to Two Forks first. That's right. Okay, so I'm a dummy. Uh, I didn't have to go back to Two Forks. I just had to go back in here because I've got anchors to use with my rope. So let's see what's uh, going on now. All right, let's, uh, let's drive a baton in here. And let's rappel down. All right. Let's go over here. And... And drop down right here. Suspenseful music. Alright, guys. Don't know I'm gonna do this. But if you're the faint of heart kind, look away. Yeah. Brian Goodwin's, uh, dead. And been dead for, uh, a little while. Yeah, that, um, that really got to me the first time I played this game. And honestly, it kind of sticks with me now. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Because we... This needs to be reported. Oh, I'm stuck. Somehow. There we go. Yeah, and uh, you guys can probably guess that he died of a climbing accident because there was rope near him, there was all this stuff. Yeah. So, this person apparently did not want us to know that Brian Goodwin died. For whatever reason. That reason is not justified at all, I don't think, probably. But, uh, especially not with the stuff they've put us through. But, I'm gonna hold my opinions. Um, I normally would not, like, warn you guys about stuff like that before it happens, but that one... That one gripped me to a point where I just had to. Alright, let's get out of here. And go back to Two Forks. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. 
Hey, you um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah, it's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. Yeah. <sighs> Things got intense, guys. They really <laughs> got intense. You know, part of me wanted to say, oh, you should have said something, but you know what, it's too late for that. You know, it's... Honestly, at the moment, what are we supposed to do? Like, we know this kid is dead down here and all that, like... <sighs> Let's pack up. Let's hold this. Pack up belongings. We're gonna keep this. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there and... I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Uh, you're a lot of help, Delilah. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this fire is uh, more than out of control right now. And we've got to find wherever this thing is leading us and whatever it leads us to. Let's see. Which direction do we need to go? West. Getting more consistent. Hmm, crap. Oh, 
Hopefully we can find something. It's increasing in pitch the further we go west here. I'm not even really sure where I am, but... Come on. I think, it's, I think it increased in pitch again, so we just gotta keep going. It's more consistent, too, for sure. Maybe we're headed towards the lake? I'm not really sure. It's really hard to see where I'm going, though. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Gotcha. <laughs> crappy boss is gonna get me killed hill, even though my crappy boss has turned out to be a pretty dang good person. Down we go. Really steep hill. Yep, it's it's going crazy now. All right, where are you? Oh, you're going crazy now. Could we be towards the lake? All right, come on now. Hmm, we dropped in pitch somewhere. All right, where are you? Let's see. Okay, I need to go. Come on. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. See what it says. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. Been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. 
You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Well, we found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. He, you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Henry, program status review, optional observational trace, F, guilty. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Hmm. Delilah again. Hmm. Skewed perception of personal history. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Hmm. Interesting. This guy, uh, was more than a little nutso. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep the episode going. I'm just going to go back through all this. Looks like he's not you coming back. some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> this boombox looks familiar. Yep, it does. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Electronic junk. All this stuff. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God... Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Brian was a nice looking kid. Oh, man. Probably should take a picture of all this. Just because. Some of the same books I had, a beer can. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. Hmm. <laughs> he could see my lookout. Crazy. And he could see yours. He could see both of our towers. Yours too. Am 
Well, now what do we do? Let's see. There's got to be something that we skipped here. Clean that up. Well, I think we've seen all that there is to see here. So let's get out of here. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Uh-oh. Well, let's get in the cable car and get out of here before we burn alive. <laughs> 